What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a continuation of my videos from yesterday on setting up your own craft bucket and or spigot server. So one of the commenters down below mentioned that there was a copyright issue with something to do with craft bucket and the downloads. I'm not entirely sure on the situation, however that was back in 2014. Since then, I re-uploaded the video with that download section cut out and replaced with this tutorial that I'll be showing you here. However, having two videos that are basically the same as the other two videos isn't really something that I like doing. So instead, I've got this extension video over here for those who've watched those videos and they decide that they want to use a build tools, which is the official way to get spigot or craft bucket to get their own server dot jars. Basically, I showcased get bucket, but there's a ton of different sites that all do the same thing. They all mirror downloads that they built themselves. However, there's no way to verify if those versions are truly up to date or whether they are actually what they say they are, or say they're missing features, they've got added in features, who knows, the best way to do it is the official way. So that's what I'm here to show you how to do now. If you want some more information on that whole situation, have a look down below in the comments and the description, and there'll be more information on that. So to begin, head across to this link in the description down below, which is from spigotmc.org. However, even though this is spigot.org, it is linked to from bucket.org. If we go across to the official get craft bucket link, which takes us, which takes us to the official wiki. Scrolling down, they say craft bucket, where do I get it? There's the DMCA copyright I mentioned. And over here is a link to the build tools forum, which is this one over here. This is linked down below. Basically, all you need to do is make sure you have Java installed. I go through this in my other videos, but I'll go through it here quickly as well. If you already have Java installed and you know that it works and you can skip forward a couple of seconds. Head across to the second link in the description down below to download Java Runtime Environment, JRE. Simply hit accept license agreement and then you'll see thank you for accepting. You can now download. Look down here, Windows x86 offline. You'll be downloading this one if you're on a 32-bit Windows PC, or you'll be downloading the Windows x64 if you're on a 64-bit Windows PC. After downloading it, open it up, and the installation should be pretty simple, just a few clicks. Once you've done that and you've made sure Java has been installed, you'll simply need to scroll down to here, or click the link in the description down below, taking you to the Git download page. Once you're on this page, simply hit Windows and wait for the download to finish. This downloads the 64-bit version. However, if you're on a 32-bit PC, you can click the link that is over here. All you need to do is click on it to automatically open it. As soon as it's done downloading, I'll hit Run. Hit Yes when prompted for admin. Next, next, next. Make sure this is Git from the command line. Next, 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 next again. And that is basically it. All we need to do is wait for this to install, uncheck view release notes, and hit finish. Next up, I'll be creating a folder on my desktop. You can name this anything you want, as we'll be deleting it once we're done. I'll simply call it build. Open it up and head back to this build tools forum page. Under downloading and running build tools, you'll see under part two, there's a link over here. Simply click that and then click keep when it says it might be a virus. Drag and drop it out into the folder we just created and make sure it's named buildtools.jar. I've downloaded three of them, so it had a three next to it. If you don't see .jar after it, make sure to go across to view and make sure file name extensions is checked. Then buildtools.jar. Next up, all you need to do is right click and hit git bash here. That'll open up git bash, which is what we're looking for inside of this folder. However, if you don't have that option, press start and type in git git and hit git bash. Then go back to the folder copy the URL at the top, back into git bash, cd space, right click, paste. Now before hitting enter, use the arrow keys to go back and make sure each one of these slashes have two of them. None of them should be single. After doing that and hitting enter, you can see it changes to desktop build, which is where we want to be. If you were to cd space, right click, paste in the folder and hit enter, you'd notice that it says no such file or directory. Once that's open, you can simply type in java space hyphen jar space b hit tab. Make sure there's a space hyphen hyphen ref rev space and then you can enter a plethora of options. If you head to the next link in the description down below, you'll be taken to this information page and you can choose what version you want to build of spigot and craft bucket. So under versions, you can automatically do latest, which will do 1.14.4. However, you can choose 1.15 by typing in 1.15, and there's a bunch of these other ones that you can use. So I'll simply go back here, 
hyphen hyphen rev space 1.15 and I'll hit enter. Now this will take a while to build, depending on your internet speed, your PC speed, and a bunch of different things, this could take anywhere between 5 minutes and 10 minutes. This is much slower than downloading one off of a site such as GetBucket, however, this is the only official way to do it yourself. So I'll simply wait for this to finish, and then I'll go through what happens. And once it's fully complete, you'll see this message at the very end. So now you can close out of this safely, and you'll notice a bunch of new files. So we have spigot115.jar, and this is the official spigot release. If you were watching the spigot tutorial, you'll simply use this file over here instead of downloading it from a website such as GetBucket. If you wanted the CraftBucket one, inside of this CraftBucket folder, target, we have craftbucket 115 r snapshotjar This may be different for you depending on when you do this, however, it's the bigger of the two jars that are here. You can see one's 4 megs and one's 30 megs. If you're following the craftbucket tutorial, you'll be copying this one instead of downloading it from something like GetBucket. Anyways, that's about it. That is how to use the official build tools for a spigot and craft bucket. If you'd like more tutorials like this, make sure to press like and leave a comment down below for what you'd like to see. My name has been Techno here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.